run straight into his death beam. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, they're all, they're all gonna die. They're all gonna die. We've lost all of them! Great, this is going to be so fun! Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pikmin 4. And this is episode 10, I think. So we're, we're pretty far into this playthrough. And I've got to say, it's taken a damn toll on me. I've had to edit a lot of footage. And I'm almost wishing it away, which I shouldn't be. Because, you know, after 10 years of waiting, I should be, you know, enjoying this to the maximum. Which I am. Okay, let's let's begin. So I've been told by viewers that I should speak to some certain people here. One of which is Louis. We've still got to do his quest. And what they said, actually, was to pin Louis's uh, mission. And then also, is this the music person? No, this is the teacher. She could teach me. Okay, so I'm going to go around and talk to all of these guys that need to be talked to. And if there's an important one, I'll show it on camera. So I believe this is the music guy. Yeah, it is. And this, the lineup trumpet. There you go. This actually gives us a uh, ability that which we could, which we can use. And this is uh, the trumpet from, or the swarm from Pikmin One and Two, which is a beloved feature by many, including me. Even works on Ochi. So, to start the episode off, let's go and finish Hero's Hideaway Night Mode. Also, you guys might notice that my hair is gone. Uh, yup. I got a haircut, so I was going to not get a haircut for the consistency of the playthrough. So, you know, I look the same in all the videos, but... Things came to things. Is that what you say? I don't know. Stuff happened, and now I have no hair, so... <laughs> Okay, male shear grubs. That's what I was scared about. Yeah, I was scared about the male shear grubs. Not you again! <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's two of them. Where is he? Oh no! What? Oh no! Why are they all dying? They seriously all just walk into him? Oh, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Yep, insta kill there, actually. Oh no! Oh, now the Luminol's under attack. Shit, shit, shit. Ochi, go defend it. Spicy spray. Hit him with a... Boom! Okay, Smoky Prog is a lot more dangerous when he appears earlier. No! Ochi, kill him! This man just standing there! The fog got him! The fog? The fog is coming in Pikmin 4. There's another one! I wasn't expecting to start things off like this, guys. Oh my god. Stop. 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 Ochi! Where even are you? What are you doing? Why are you just standing around? Why are you defending... Oh, she, where are you? Where, wh why? Why? What are you doing? He almost got froze. What? How? Are you serious? Hi. Oh, that's a bit scary. What's good, Shear Grubs? Yeah. 
Go back to the hell from which you spawned. Anyways, who is letting all these... Like, why are Mamutas laying eggs in this house so much? Stop. Chill. Oche, you need to defend. Yep, that hazy stuff indeed is dangerous. Never never did I think I'd be here fighting off smoky damn progs. Is Ochi actually fighting back this time? Oh, and here comes the second one. Okay, we lost the trick null. We got star bits all the way up here. Hi. Why are you so big? You're not Jumbo, right? Oh, wait. That's right. Swab. Haha. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Yes. What's good? Swarm his ass. Boom. And then you can pay the price, my friend. Boom. Boom. And he's gone. Okay, so stuff gets insane. People weren't lying. And I can only imagine what's going to happen in the next night modes, in the next areas. It's Chowder from Cartoon Network. Is that what Chowder's from? I can't remember. He follow, he's a, the, 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 the president of Talbo Real Estate. He followed his whims in real estate for 27 years. Now he travels the galaxy expecting his next big idea to pop up out of nowhere. Just like me. He just like me, for real. Dingo, give me those beautiful little raw material parts. Because we have now 100%ed four areas. And we are now working on Giant's Hearth, I believe. Let's head to the lab. So, what can we buy in the lab? We can buy Power Whistle, because why not? Didn't think they'd add this in the game, but yeah. And Air Armor++, plus plus, and then they're going to be like, Air Armor++++? Plus plus plus? They're actually not, okay. And then I don't want to see the treasure gauge plus. We will buy that last. And we also could buy some mines here. Because they're a lot of fun. So we started progress on Giant's Hearth. And we've actually made pretty good progress. So we shall continue that today. And we have two very interesting caves that I'm excited to check out. And we might do them in this day just now. So we've got ultimate testing range and a cave that is called Dream Home, which is very interesting to me. And I'm excited to check out what is in there because just from the just from the little thumbnail image that uh, Louis left for us, we could see that it had the vault from Kira's Hideaway in it, which is crazy. So I'm guessing there's going to be card treasures which will get us the code like like previously. So I guess we don't need to get any guys out. We can just Head straight to a cave. So, up here. I guess we could head straight here now that we're here, right? So, Dream Home. This place looks very interesting. So, I'm excited to go and check it out. They recommend... Purples. There you go. That looks good. Okay, this is a very nice little combo of uh, Pikmin here. We haven't seen a lot of use out of the Wing Pikmin, to be honest. So, I'm excited to come down here with them. Dream Home sub level 1. Okay. So there's one rescue. Might not be the longest of caves then, which is kind of sad. A Flarlick for the looks of it. Or maybe a whole ass onion. I don't know. And a fidget spinner. Okay. And there's the code thing straight up. Wait, do you think this is one of those ones... Oh, hi. You're back. Do you think this is one of those like one sub level caves where um it's just like really big? Also, that is a Jumbo Bulb Orb, I'm pretty sure. Wait, was that a Flarlick I just saw? Yeah, Flarlick, okay. We got Sir Sun Squish here. Bob. 
So there is our first code. Oh, she likes tasty. You can swallow it. Joker? I don't think that's a uh, icon, to be honest. Alright, yellows can dig that because they dig fast. I don't know if that actually counts to digging fast on that in like individual thing, but who knows? Oh, there's a little tunnel there. Can I get through there? No. Okay. So we've got... Oh, nectar. So we have a very big dude to deal with here. Hi. I'm guessing purples will probably just be enough to... They're really scary when they do that. Yo, chill. I think it's too late to save them. Oh no, we saved them somehow. Okay. So we can get winged on that. They don't carry stuff all the, like always from the top anymore, which is interesting. Pretty sure I mentioned that last episode with the uh, dog painting we picked up. There we go. Look at that dude. <laughs> he looks really funny how he's like dangling like that. So these um, these mushrooms are on little like clay things, which is pretty interesting. So can I get Ochi to like spit off the side? I can. That's cool. That is that dude dead. And soon to be Sun Squish. I don't think Ochi can actually damage him. Okay. Well, hey, a fidget spinner. <laughs> Amazing. We have finally encountered it after it being shown to us a l very long time ago. Yep, it's finally here, the fidget spinner. And I don't know how to feel. It's very crazy, I'll say that much. So, have we got a code yet? No, we haven't got any yet. There. Oh, this thing. Look at that. Three winged Pikmin can lift up that entire thing. Now, I know it's made out of paper and it's hollow and it's super light, but that still seems really crazy that free wing can lift it. Especially seeming they have to lift extra because they have to lift it into the air and not just across the floor. Then we will be taking that. Look at this. What does this mean? What's going to happen when I throw dudes on here? Oh. Are they just here for, like, no reason? Or... Oh, there's a... Uh a ramp here, I didn't realise. So. Got some more nectar. Alright. Where's Ochi? Here he is. So he can't kill the sun squish, but it doesn't matter. Because he doesn't have a treasure, by the looks of it. Oh, wait. We can actually get across here. Okay. Um... Could do need yellows for it, but don't worry, we can just use winged. Go away! You caterpillar dude. I always feel bad killing those guys. I don't know why, because they were an absolute bitch to me in the past, but there is there's a part of me that feels a little bit bad. So what is this signal trying to say to us? Is the treasure very close apparently? No. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know what all this is about. Have I just got to... Oh! They're colour-coded! No, they're not? Oh. I don't know. Maybe they are? Whatever. Okay, so we got... What's that? Is that another... Okay, that's an actual code. Thank God. Oh, wow. This place is quite damn big. Hi, Sun Squish. I had no lock on there for a sec. That felt magical. Wow. How are they holding that dude? <laughs> But yeah, what was I saying? So these these little crystal things they drop, they look really tasty to me. I don't know why. They look like. Have you ever had? Uh, I mean, look at the. Damn! Damn! Purple! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Throw it back. Okay, but have you guys ever had like chocolate that has kind of like a gold coating around it? Because that's exactly what it reminds me of. Those little gold uh, things. 
Okay, so it looks like this is just one sub-level. Then we start on you. Oh, oh, there's two treasures in one there. There was a badge holding it. Oh, it takes two. Winged, watch out! Oh, just about. Come on, pick it up. Auto lock on. If someone dies now, it's because of auto lock on. It was close. You can't see me. Oh, okay. Bob. No, no, no. Stay together. And then we hit him with a bone. That won't be one cycle. Okay. This damn dude, man. He messed me up so bad in the Sage Trials. For that reason, exactly. Oh my god. He can actually kill as well if he slaps him with a big thing. Come on, stay on me. Alright, I tell you what. We got enough. We got enough spicy sprays. Boom! Goodbye. And with that. What? Is he got a damage limit like a Pikmin 3 boss? Come on. Okay. Wait for him to finish his animation because it, in all my experiences, every time I've tried to attack him again when he's just attacked, it just doesn't work. It messes everything up. Oh, he had the castaway. Okay. It's Horatio from Pit People. I mean from Sozor. Uh, Uncharted Planet Tourist. A proud member of the gig company e eco Economy. He, li he likes to think he spreads cheer wherever he goes, but he usually does the opposite. Whoa. That's an odd thing to read on an ID badge. He seems rather eccentric of sort. Okay. You saying we should have left him to die instead? Is that what you're saying? Oh my god, where are you going? It, they're too taking that guy to heaven. Oh my god. I mean, you guys could have just... Gone. Okay. I love how his his little tail uh, hangs down a bit. Look like a corkscrew almost because he's like being. Oh my god, that's so amazing. Oh, that's right. There's still a bunch more of this level. <laughs> I thought that was it, but yeah, we cleared this out with the yellows, didn't we? That's where our yellows are. Duh. Hi, yellows. How are you today? So we've got. That there, we got a little truck here. Winged can hopefully take that over the obstacle. And Ochi, pretty sure we can just jump up here, right? And okay, but how do we get up there? That's the question. Is it just this little tunnel here? Because Ochi can't get through, it's the only problem. Or does that just take us down here? Yeah, just takes us down here. Okay, so I'm missing something, obviously. How exactly do I... Or is it just yellows? Do you want me to just throw yellows up there? Because I can do that. No? Yeah? Okay. So it works for that. Oh, the drone platforms. Duh. So what's the point in this little pipe here? I don't know. Is it just to throw dudes up? I don't know. Uh, Wait, hang on. What is going on? Seven. And one. Bob. Don't get... Can you get crushed by that? No. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That's a new treasure. I wonder if it jiggles. Please jiggle. It jiggles! <laughs> oh my god. It jiggles. Wow. We can grab a flarlic, even though we don't need to, but... I mean, come on, we've got it. We can't leave a flarlic there. There it is in all of its beauty. And then... We have... Is that pink paint? Or is it red? Pink, okay. Pink to represent the winged Pikmin that are used here, I assume, which is pretty cool. So we've got all the little tubes of... Um... Whatever that thing's called. Paint. That's it. Paint. You know paint? Okay, that was... Wait, was that everything? Yeah, it was. Okay. Because it would have warned us if it wasn't. So, 
that was another one of those one sublevel caves where it's just one massive sublevel. And I've got to say, I love them. They're really fun. And maybe there's like one more in um, Primordial Thicket, or may maybe there's maybe uh, oh my testing range is one floor, but I very much doubt it, considering it has Man at Legs, which will probably have its own floor and arena like Pikmin 2. Yeah. So if we are on our way back to what we can do, I mean I don't think we need rocks. We could probably swap out rocks for whites. Bop, bop. Okay. I think our job is done with rocks, so that means I can get my good old little white Pikmin out. Hello, my friends. Okay. This was a waste of time, but, you know, I just want an excuse to use them. So, okay, nice work. Nice work. There we go. 25, please. So those guys will do that. I mean, we don't need to do that, but it just adds to the whole completion aspect, doesn't it? So, so this drained out this area, which I assume is different to this water. Yes, yeah, so this water's separate, and we also have... Oh, hello. I don't remember seeing that like that before. I don't know how I missed that. Alright, OGD job. Swallow that cucumber. He loves swallowing the damn cucumbers, doesn't he? Holy... Okay. So we got Bug Eyed Cromat here. It seems like you have a treasure. I was about to say, I don't think we even need to hurt you, but. Looks like you've got a treasure. I mean, it would make sense, because otherwise he'd be just fully out of the way and there'd be no reason to fire him, so. It's a good thing he's got a treasure. Okay. Come out, my friend. This should do a lot more damage to him now that we've got the spicy spray. Yep. Oh, we just escaped. Okay. Hi, Ochi, welcome back. Alright, take those eyes out. Oh, and he's dead, okay. <laughs> and that gives us some sushi. Awesome. So if I remember, we did do this cave, right? Yeah, we. so we did... Cradle of the Beast, is that what that one is? I think it is. But we never took out this weird bloister dude, so let's do that. We don't need to. But he seems like a pretty fun enemy. So yeah, that's how you do him. There we go. And what I love about this dude is that he drops into two separate parts, which I don't think we've ever seen in a Pikmin enemy. So it's really cool to see it. What are those guys doing? You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. This is something back here. I can. S okay, let's head back into this little house thing. This is one thing I never noticed just in here. Although first, let's see what going up here can do for us. This is just the way back up. This is so cool though, <coughs> with all these like chopped logs. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's back there. I think there's a yeah, there's a Dandori cave on top of there too. Pigment dying. Did they seriously go into the water? Oh my god. If I grab the pine cone, it seems as if it's just around this corner, but I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. This is cool. Oh, there's a little bit of water here. That's cool. Alright. And then that can let us push the bag over. And it looks as if they want you to do some parkour, like up these bricks. Oh, this is cool! <laughs> this is so cool. So this puts us on the other side of this thing. And also allows us to have Ochi up here. Because I don't think we normally have Ochi up here, I'm not sure. And then... we got Blue Man. Hello, Blue Man. How are you today? Dan Dory, anytime, anywhere. Goodbye, go in your cave. I don't want to listen to you. So this is... The Planning Pools. I like the look of this one. I like the look of that one a lot. Alright, so... Oh, the, I didn't even notice that was a massive deck chair. Wow. Oh, it's like a campsite? 
You see that? There's like there's like a tent. Wow. Oh, it's like a little path going up there. Wow. Yeah, those guys fell in the water back there. You see them? Come on, man. All right. Well, I suppose when that little treasure gets back, did I put a white Pikmin on it? They should be fast, right? Yeah, you see him. You can see him carrying his little sword upright like that, back to base. So we're inside the aquarium area again. I love this area so much. It's so awesome. So, looks as if yellows can't actually do a lot here. So, sorry, I'm trying to get my bearings, which is always what makes me take quite a bit of time because I'm always trying to figure out what the hell is going on. I don't know how strong these baby aristocrats are. I'm sure 10 Pikmin could take them out, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so annoying, though. Okay. We're about to get Nectar, right? But there's one dude who's going to miss it because I threw him off the edge by accident. Ouch. That hurts my feelings. Okay, they want us to... Okay, hang on. That should be worth it. Oh, I should have took all the all the yellows. Okay, whatever. Ochi, please. Oh wait, well you can't get around there, can you? Unless. No. Okay. Let's drop down here, cause that guy being down there is really bugging me. So. That was probably a waste of time, to be honest. All right. Let's leave this round here. So, Ochi, I'm definitely going to want you to just take this guy on, please. I'll take him out. Um, wait, no, that... Does this take 10 or will this take 20? 10, thank God. Ochi, watch out! Oh my God, I almost crushed him with that. Okay, Ochi, hang on. Stay there. That, that this is going terribly. Oh my god. Oh this loops this loops back round to the base. Okay. That's that's very convenient actually. Ah uh, ba 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 just do it. Thank you. Okay, now I'm stressing. Oh gee, you got this. Nice. Alright, that dude down there is causing us a bit of trouble. I mean, he's not causing us any trouble yet, but he is stopping us from grabbing our little Pikmin friends, so. That is a big pile of dust or dirt there. Boom. I, don't, I just found out today as well, corpses aren't actually necessary to be collected, but I still do it anyways because they do add to your points. So, I think it's worth just grabbing all the corpses anyway. And it's not like I'm actually bothered about getting a really good time. I'm just kind of trying to collect everything for a bit of fun. So, there was eggs here that I missed. Which is my bad. Okay, this dude can get out of here. Goodbye. What's in here? Oh, there's a bunch of blues in there that I missed. God damn it. Two minutes left. Okay. Is this going to take me onto that? No, thank God. I was going to say, that sucks if it takes me onto that sponge thing. Alright, how are we looking? So we got... Nuggets down here. That's all of them anyway, so... I don't need to do that. Right, here's the plan, here's the plan. So, three of those dudes take that. Ochi takes that. And then these 30 take the nuggets. Oh, Ochi, just swallow it, please. Of course, the yellow pigment had to ruin everything. The little, the little dude. The little annoying dude. 
Okay, that could have been a lot much of a better time, but this works out too. No spicy spray? No. And with that, we are done. Boom! That was that was fun. I like that one. It was a bit complicated at first, but I mean that's that's kind of been all of the Dandori challenges because obviously I've never played this game before. So experiencing a Dandori challenge for the first time, you don't know what to expect. You don't know the optimal route, the good route, or anything. So yeah, it makes sense. Oh yeah, go on, burn it. There we go. It's that thing, whatever that thing is. I don't know, but I hate it. Oh, it rocks. Cool. We got a little area down here. It's pretty cool. This is where we drain the water. It's awesome. Okay, we have an insane amount of sparkling now. And let's go and wipe. Oh! It's recommending just whites and winged? That's an awesome combination. I love that. Let's do it. Oh. Hello. So can these guys... Oh no. I don't think that matters. Yeah, okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so look, these guys can actually do what winged Pikmin should do and fly over and build the bridge super fast, which I love. Look at that. They even take the dart that way. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. This guy, they are, Dweebles are rapid now. They've got no chill. Look at him. Surprised he hasn't launched any off the map yet, but they attack fast now. They get really aggressive. Watery blowhogs, hi. I don't see you very often. Withering blowhogs, I don't see you very often either. It's good to see you, my friends. That's bad timing. Okay, we're good. These guys are like hanging off the edge. Oh my god. I thought you got launched off the edge then. I was like, oh my god. It's crazy. So. My bad. Bob. There you go. We got another one of these track pieces. Okay, these guys are going, going to go the very unsafe route, aren't they? The looks of it. Oh god, I didn't notice you there. Yeah, go on, sort him out, Uchi. Oh my god. Okay, those guys decided on a different route. So, not whites. Winged can take a shorter route, which is cool. Also, Uchi, surely you can just... Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that was intentional or not. The little pebble thing blocking the geyser. Get that out the way. Is there a boss up here? Snagrip? No. Yeah, you see me. You see me. So withering blocks seem to always fall down really quickly now. Look at that. That's bullshit. Oh no. You just had to, didn't you? Oh my god. And he's laughing. Yeah, you're going to pay for that, mate. Honestly. Get down. Triple threat, triple threat, triple threat. Ochi and you. Look at him. He thinks he's so funny. One winged look, and you'll come down. Never mind, you don't even need to come down because Ochi just destroyed you in midair. That's what I thought. Yeah, and your corpse is definitely getting carried back. So, have fun. Whoopee cushion looking ass. Oh, and there it is! The second Joy-Con. Now, I've actually seen the name of this treasure, and... It's absurd, I'll say that much. And there it is. Be gentle with it. It is the best controller ever. It's not. Joy-Cons are the worst controllers to ever be made by humans. Treasure collected. Okay, so, on the name of that, like I was saying. So, that Joy-Con, the blue one, is called the Drift Enabler. So, that means that Nintendo, or whoever's, whoever worked on this game, obviously people of Nintendo, know of the Drift Joy-Con problem. 
and say that it's not real and stuff, you know, you've had the excuse before. But then they go and name their blue Joy-Con in Pikmin 4 the Drift Enabler. They really thought they were finding them that one. And I think it is it is a pretty good name, I'll be honest. But it's crazy that they have basically acknowledged it but won't actually do anything to stop it from being a problem. <laughs> Waddlepuss, hi! Arachnodes, puff stools, puff, puff, puffy blogs, I mean. So they want us to, ah, oh, they want us to take this geyser, I see. Or maybe we could just cheat the system a little. Aha, that's cool. Can we come down here and like, yeah, we can come all the way down here. This is crazy. Got a bubble hazard, interesting. Hello. Oh, God. You guys are just like how you are in Pikmin 3. We've got some pink swords as well. Oh, so the wing Pikmin ho hold them upside down. That's cool. I love that. You guys are the best. Oh. Come on, you guys can't just go underneath that. Are you sure? Huh. Okay. I see. Hmm. Well then. If I throw it on that side, surely the whites will be far away enough where it's not a problem. Yes! My geniusness prevails once more. Okay, you stay away from my little Pikmin friends. Right, quick, 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 quick. I need to move that box. Okay, good, good, good. Go, my friends, quick. Okay, we've got a leafling too. Which is cool. Uh, winged, you can grab that, right? You absolutely can. Come on, take a cool shortcut and be winged, Pikmin. No. Okay. Sub level four. Was that a jelly float? It was. Man, I love the jelly floats. I still can't throw them over. Wait, if I just like go to the side here, can I? Come on. Come on, I can so do something cool there. Watch this. If I come right to the edge. Do they, do they, have they managed to like make a way to, that stops you? Hello Dweevils, I like you guys, you guys are cool. Do you just like attack now if there's people underneath you? No, okay. This is probably another useless bridge, but, oh hi! Where did you come from? I'm guessing you came from the, the heavens. Oh, they can't be grounded anymore, can they? I need to remember that. Beautiful pink Pikmin after the beautiful pink jelly float. It's a wonderful combo. Can you guys continue to attack him? Yeah. Okay. Those guys need to be careful. Oh, did we lose one? I think he can shake him off the map. Uh oh. My bad. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Go, white Pikmin. Boom. Pop. Hello, Jelly Floats. I love you guys. Whoa, he just like curved that Pikmin's shot like crazy. Because I threw him and he went underneath him as he was sucking. He like went like that and went back up. That was crazy. Man, I love the verticality they added to the caves. That's one thing that I always wished for. And here we are. And we got all three stages of white pigment carrying it. We got <laughs> we got the flower, the bud, and the leaf. And as you can see, it makes quite the difference. Wow. Buds are pretty decent, but flowers are insane. See, look, I can't stress enough how important it is to get flowered pigment, especially in stuff like the Dandori challenges if you're trying to get a good time. And here's our final sub-level. Who's it going to be? I think we all know who it's going to be. Hello, my friend. And it looks as if they've given us destructible walls and stuff around him. 
which is cool. And the classic little barrier here, which is literally just all we need to be invincible. Very Pikmin 2-ish, and I love it. Hello, man of legs. Boom! Uh-oh. Go, go, go! Why, where are you guys going? Woo! Okay, you done? Winged Pikmin versus Man at Legs, a combo I thought I'd never see. You can't catch me, Man at Legs! Bear, 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 bear. Ah! Run for your life! He has his own boss team as well, by the way, which is really cool. Stay away from my white Pikmin! You can maybe have the winged Pikmin, I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Watch out! Oh shit, we're in trouble. Hide behind the wall quick. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is bad. Leave my friends alone. You can't even like whistle them off anymore because like the double whistle thing and everything makes it really hard. You can't get me. Oh gee, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I've just lost so many. <laughs> it was all white Pikmin as well. Oh my god. I actually feel really bad. Alright, you're getting it now. I don't care. Enjoy. You got some more on your face, by the way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get lost. I will take that cast away. With pride. Oh, hi. Check it out. What is that? Is that... That's a GameCube controller? Wow, it looks like extra bulky. Eat that. Wait, no, Ochi, don't eat it. I want to see it in all its glory being carried, so... Investigate five areas 100% complete. Wait, what? I mean, yeah, we've done... On the testing range, but... No way that was the whole of Giant's Hearth, right? Did, did we just complete Giant's Hearth? I keep completing areas without realizing. <laughs> So, are we done here? Yeah, we did Giant's Huff. Okay. Let's go. So, where are those seeds? Okay, hang on. Giant's Huff is complete. That actually just leaves one area. I didn't... I didn't... Woo! I didn't realise. Wow, that was four dudes. Okay, we're slowly getting into Leafling debt, which is going to be kind of annoying. The Extravagant Breakfast Series. The Collection Obsession series. Oh, the Gold Nuggets are in that series? That's strange. <laughs> the Jiggle Jiggle. And it did indeed Jiggle Jiggle. And I was gobsmacked. The Sweet Tooth series. The Captivation Goo, which completes the Soulful Artist series. I just realized each tube is more and more used paint. That's cool. And it seems to be all the different pigment colors, I just realized. And there's the drift... De wait, what did it say? Drift detector? I can't remember. We completed the puzzle too. The memory fragment series, which is very nice to see. An insane amount of sparkling. But quickly, I want to go... Telekinesis detector? What? Wait, was that a fake image? Did somebody troll me? No way somebody trolled me that hard. Was it never called the drift enabler? Oh my god, I've actually been trolled. Unless Nintendo, you know, just updated the game because they found out they called it that. And they're like, no, 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 we need to get rid of that now. Begin our adventure into Giant's Hearth. Oh, there's only two here. Abandoned Throne and the Line of Logs. Okay. It scares me that there's only two. Why is there only two? Does that mean that they're going to be extremely hard or something? I hope so, please. Because I, I don't think the danger meter really captures the danger very well because you could have a free difficulty that is insane or a free difficulty that is just very average so i don't know is it going to be a double i got a feeling it's going to be a double because the the are yeah there is okay blue and orange let's go look at this place at night it's get all fiery bulb axes okay all right all right i see you Actually, never mind. Things are going to be attacking us straight away. Pyroclasmic sluches. 
Didn't expect that. Okay, so Ochi's got that side. Hello, Slooch. You look really cool, by the way. I just thought I'd let you know. Hi. Oh, there's two. That was terrible timing! They decided to teleport to me and then just stand completely still and proceed to be devoured. I love how if you attack their front, they get stuck on their top lip, so when they lick, they dodge it because they're attached to his top lip, which is like really funny. Bow bears, fiery bow blaxes, okay. There's a trick knoll here, I kind of don't want to activate. Emperor bow blaxes! Okay, we have a bow blax incoming though, so I need to make sure I prepare to deal with him. We got dudes coming up on the, the second one. We have. Okay, Ochi. Defend the first one. Go, my friend. And I will go and get this guy out of here. Bob. Get his ass. Okay, good. They're not as scary as I anticipated. Are you going to drop like 10? 25? Oh. Okay, we got Fiery Bob Blacks is incoming. We've got a bull bear coming up on the one back there. Oh, no. I'm hoping you can deal with that, Ochi. What's good? What's good? Check it out. Check it out. I can't see anything. Oh, my God. This is bad. Okay, go pick that up. This is scary. This is scary stuff. I think Ochi's good. If not. What was that? Ochi, oh, Ochi. Oh. Ochi can't glow mob them, can he? Duh. Just go, just go, just go, just keep spamming them. Kill the small one! How is he still alive? So I heard some scary ass noise, which I think plays when some big dude spawns in. I'm gonna assume. Okay, it's just another Bob Blacks. And then for you, I saved this wonderful glow mob. Actually, let's grab those. No, dudes, come here. I say we give this guy a nice little surprise. We get extra glow Pikmin just for the occasion. And then we absolutely give it to his face. Bob. His health bar turned into a time lapse. Well, night mode is getting insane, like people said it would. And I'm very happy. I am enjoying these late game night mode stages very much. We got two identical geezers. We've got Lappy from Kudgeo and Ren from Inohi. Research task force. How many research task force people are there? Is that the last one? Maybe? Research is complete. Oh, yeah, there you go. I was right. Okay, so we got. Right, I'm going to go collect all this raw material stuff. If anything cool happens, once again, I'll show them in footage. But yeah, let's go and do that. So we have actually completed the Piclopedia, which is pretty damn cool. That means there will be no more enemy surprises, sadly, though, which is one of the, my favorite parts of this game, and it was so fun going through the game, discovering all the crazy enemies. But it's finally concluded, and we're also nearing the end of the amount of treasures, too. There we go. Okay. Is, is that it? I've just got the reward for you. Oh, it's just a scrolling button. Okay. Oh, she's maxed out. <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, oh wait, you give me raw material for that? See you guys, it's time you and Ochi are ready, what? Legendary skills can now be learned, is that what that said? Skill? Singular? The ultimate secrets have been passed down in my family for generations. Master it, and you'll be initiated into the shepherd way. Learn infinite rush? With this legendary skill, Ochi gains unlimited stamina. And mean that means he's able to keep using Rush forever. Oh my god. 
You are kidding me. Eight pop points. Okay, so we need a whole ass number eight castaways. Or maybe maybe we have to cure the uh, existing ones or something. So that makes me think. If we speak to Terence now, I didn't want to buy this treasure gauge upgrade, but if we just do it now, will there be an ultimate upgrade here too? Or I guess maybe... Oh! I was worried I might get tired of... I tried to create a new gear, but seeing you in action continues to inspire me. Something for me, usually reserve. Da -da -da. A quiet old gear, so do we get an ultimate gear now? Plucking whistle now available in the lab. The plucker phone, baby! Okay. We'll watch it be like 1000 raw material. Okay, it's not. There it is, the plucking whistle. Do not waste your time and effort plucking pigmen one by one. One blow on this on this whistle and pluck them all at once. This will be great for Dandori stuff. Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. Okay, so check this out. You see these wing pigmen? <laughs> Never did I think I'd see the day where I use my pluck whistle, use the plucker phone on winged pigmen. Like what? So one thing I am sad about is that we never got to see Dorigi bugs. They sadly were not in Pikmin 4 by the looks of it. But there's always hope for the future. And I think they would have been a really fun enemy in this game. Using bomb rocks as a hazard and also a tool is just something that I find really fascinating. And they did actually pull off in this game that bomb rocks are used by the player but also can be used as a hazard by enemies. Which is honestly just amazing. But anyways, I think it's I think it's time we head to Primordial Thicket, which I'm very excited about. Okay, so there's four rescues here. I'm guessing they're all leaflings. And then do we get a pup point for curing them? I think that's what happens. So, okay. And there's also all this over here. I didn't I think I explored over here at all. Well, I did actually, but I didn't explore specifically this area here. This little grapes here. So I never knew, I never noticed this overlooks that landing site down there. Man, this place is cool. I'm hoping these whites can. Maybe not. It was enough to kill the Jasmite though, I guess. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, the Puff's still still down there too. Hi. He's kind of frozen in time right now because that happens for some reason. So, what is this? The Mud Pit. Okay, this cave actually interests me quite a lot. I haven't seen anything of it yet. But I keep hearing its name, so... I'm excited to go check this one out. I should have checked it out earlier because I guarantee this is going to be one of those caves which I absolutely love, and I'm going to be like, man, I so wish I came here straight away. So, where do we start? Okay. 100 ice Pikmin to freeze all that. I was tempted to bring 100 ice, because I knew that would be the case. There's definitely Mittites underneath. Never mind, that's not Mittites. Hi. Oh, no, saw them out. Oh, okay, so it's not it's not a one sub level thing, which I'm cool with. Well, she sort him out. <laughs> he gets just he gets turned into paper. Yep, I knew I what did I say? We have Wow, look at that place over there. With the Mamuta and his flowers. He's going for a little walk around. I'm gonna ignore what I just did to that little creature. <laughs> We got some baby peckish aristocrats down here. Interesting. Here we go. Check this out. Can I lock onto that when I'm like grinding? Oh. Oh, is that what they wanted you to do? Okay. Talent, my friends. Thank you, Ochi, for taking that out. More mitites? I hope not. Look at that, Ochi is damn good at his job. Ok, 
Okay, well, we got rid of the sticky mold. These guys don't have any treasures. I could probably leave them alive for once. I'm feeling nice, okay? Wait, what? Okay, scared sometimes. Don't push him. I'm guessing she was scared of the mud or something, and um, it kind of glitched and played there when it shouldn't have. Ah, oh, these guys make the music go all nice. Mamuta, do you have to have a treasure? They actually don't hurt you anymore. Until you hurt them. Don't do me like that. See, look. No. Well, now I really don't want to hurt him. He's literally just friendly. Oh, Mamuta, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mamuta. Go on, you can put up a fight if you want to. I don't care, you can kill as many dudes as you want, because they kind of deserve it. I mean, sadly, I don't think you can kill any, any dudes, unless you throw them in the mud. Which you almost did. Alright, it looks as if... Mamuta, I'm so sorry. Oh, I feel bad. Feel damn bad for that. Now these guys drop raw material and stuff. But I don't want to hurt them. That's the difference. Oh my god. The wing Pikmin are just evil. They're just killing them. Or well, not talking to boss on this level, but obviously a uh, boss on the last one. Wow. This place is dark. Oh, go away. Wait. Oh, I thought that was a poison blog. Because he looked, he looked white from here. I thought it was just a normal blog that was like poison. And I was like, but we completed the Piclopedia. But yeah, sadly, it is just an ice blog. Same old, same old. Oh no, that not so much. Oh my god, he launched those ice Pikmin in there. So Ice Pikmin are the only ones who can actually survive on the mud. Which is interesting. Come on, Hydro Jelly didn't deserve it. Oh. Oh no. Fifty Ice Pikmin versus the world. More and more of them are being put into the uh, ice. Are they drowning? Careful there. Okay, they finally got him. Man, I love messing around in this place. What is that? Hi, what is that? Looks like some animatronic type shit. What? Why were they getting thrown in front of him? I right, just freeze him. Just freeze him. Oh, I can move base here now. So the bog swallow was the thing blocking it. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense. Is there another one? No, it's just you. Okay. So, can we actually pick this guy up? I haven't picked this guy up once yet. There we go, we can actually pick him up here. There he is, the bog swallow. We get a full view of him. Goodbye, my friend. You deserve to be sucked up. Triple spicy spray? What? That's unnecessary, but I'll take it. The, the, the like bottomless pit of mud is like a fate worse than death. It's like horrible. Like imagine, you don't even know how deep that shit is, and it's kind of terrifying. You don't know how far you're sinking. There we go. Oh, that guy really, that guy was really shaking it. And it seems as if this is the boss. Is it going to be a snagret? Oh, hi. Chromat. My bad. 
I didn't want to freeze you, homie. I'm sorry. As if there's going to be like three. Oh, winged, really? Come on. We're better than that. Ice pick, man! Oh, is the ice stopping him? Really? Does that mean all of these have chromads in them? What's up? Hello. Go, oh, freeze the floor. Well, that's kind of busted. Because now he's just, he's just dead, basically. Alright, well, I don't want to do that. Because that's cheap. Come on. So we're going to take him on with just our winged, hopefully. Quick, stop him. Yes. Come at me, dude. I like having very frantic and chaotic battles. They're the most fun. Oh, damn, Ochi. Chill, bro. feel bad for the homie. Every time I come up against him, I annihilate him. This is a uh, non lethified dude, which has me excited, because that means we will not be in night mode debt. It is Wolfgang. Space Broadcast Inc. Director. Also, if anyone is still watching this video at this point, thank you very much. And also, let me know down in the comments, would you like to see a... probably a stream... But it'll be a stream which is me going over all of the Piclopedia and treasure entries. If you, I've heard a lot of people have wanted that in the comments. So, oh, that was good timing. So what I might do is turn that into a stream. I thought I was going to say explore 100% the area. I was like, already? Well, where's next on the list? We've got uh, Heroine's Tier just here. I wonder, oh, they so want us to get it from here, don't they? And this, the golden bar that weighs 100 Pikmin, or 1,000, sorry, even more than that, wow. Okay, we've also got a bunch of Dandori caves to come into, and there we have it, Toggle Training. Rock and White Pikmin, okay, White Pikmin are in this, so I'm gonna like it, but problem is, it's got these switchy doors which go up and down, which don't know if I'm a fan of, so, so I'm guessing... Uh, Rocks do their own thing, and then whites, uh, uh, rocks, no, rocks attack stuff, whites, you know, collect everything, that's what I'm seeing here, by the looks of it, look at those eggs from Yoshi. oh, they really have to, they really have to trek around here, okay. Almost missed whatever that is. Division of labor is important, I know. Okay, so we want all of our whites, especially, to be flowered. So, they can go and... Grab this. Oh, you need to move. I'm trapped now. Oh, why would you do this? No, Ochi. I need you to. I need you to press the button. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Do not worry. Don't worry for a second, my friend. This auto lock on. It's f it's fine, but every time it's a Dan Dory challenge, the auto lock on is the worst thing to ever be invented. Okay, making Ochi eat nuggets or raw material or whatever is just pointless. You need to. This is bad. This is bad because now I'm just wasting time. I should have gone straight to the switch because now these dudes are gonna turn around. That was bad. That sucked. That was poor on my end. We, we still did okay, but that could have been a lot better. Ouch. I suppose the easiest way. Oh my god! You f He's done it again! Oh, I forgot I didn't kill you. He scared the shit out of me the first time. And now he's gone and done it again. Okay, we got the castaway. Surprise. Yeah, get out of here. I don't even care. Goodbye. Thank you for the searing acid shock. I appreciate it. So I don't think we have to worry about the grub chucker, which is nice. There we go. Swarm on the nectar. And we're good. So this means... I think there's stuff going on back here too. Ah. Uh. Well, let's go grab this now so we don't have to worry about it. Why are you still here? Yeah, go away. Hello, Bog Swallow. Goodbye, Bog Swallow. You are no frozen. And everyone is being shattered by the purple pigment, which is insane. Actually, we could just get Oshi on that. Don't get him out yet. So he's froze forever, so... Like it matters. Oh, and he dropped a spicy spray. That's kind. I appreciate it. So what happens to the nectar? Drink it quick. I see one guy needs it. There we go. So does the nectar just... Oh, that's scary. It just gets dropped into the endless abyss of mud. Alright, so I'm hoping we can knock out this entire game and hopefully this episode. Because 10 episodes, I think, is a very nice rounded way to end off things. And also because we're so close, I feel like the next episode would be really short. If we uh, do split it into two episodes. So I do just want to knock out the whole thing now, hopefully. Because, man, this game, it's not even over as well, that's the thing. But this game has been so fun. This is by far the best Pikmin game, I'm going to be honest. And that's saying something because Pikmin 2 is like the best thing to be made by mankind. So, that's saying something, my friends. Um, it's very hard to uh, throw Pikmin up ledges sometimes with the, with the uh, motion controls. So let's grab that scaly custard and be out. Please. Okay, everyone else is just going <laughs> to sit there. All right. Well, there's that. That'll get back eventually. Oh, these guys are tre trekking through the mud. I mean, you could have gone a bit of an easier way, but I'm not going to judge. So this is, is this, this is right here, right? Yeah. So this is shallow. Yeah. Okay. And we have Cliffhanger's Hold here. Okay. These Dan Dory challenges, I'm going to be honest, I love them. I'm, re I'm really enjoying them. Of course, it's going to take that straight through the mud. Okay, we're just going to head in now to not waste time. And then we'll go pick it up with faster Pikmin types when we get back out. That's scary because last time we had a level 5 thing, it was the Sage Trolls. And they were very difficult. Although I don't think anything will compare to that. So we might be in luck. You can't kill rocks, which is the best thing to grace this earth, so... 
I'm just gonna let rocks deal with you. Oh, Master Hop, hi. Also, we have a lot of time for this one, so I'm gonna assume there's a lot going down. And this game can be this game can be a little bit tacky with the control sometimes, I'll be honest, but it's overall great, so it's okay. We've got a whole ass upper section in this place, it looks like. Hi. It's exciting to see when you use items. <laughs> That's true, I have a bomb rock. Okay, thank you for reminding me. That's the first thing that those dumbass leaflings have ever said that has actually been, like, unique. Uh, or not unique, it's been actually helpful to me. Think card on where to use items? Well, I haven't done that too much because I don't know what the hell is in this above section here, so kind of concerned on whether I did the right thing there. Although it seems as if there is uh, multiple uh, little dirt mounds here, which are probably all going to have bomb rocks. Oh no, this one has a spice spray, okay. Alright, that's, that's exciting actually. So... Oh, they do you like that, really? Okay. Oshi, come back down, please. Can Oshi take Pikmin through there? I don't even know. I can't... I can't swap. I can't swap. Ah. How do... Oh, okay, 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 yes, okay, come on. Okay, I could have done things so much better this this time around. I feel, I feel, thi yeah, this is bad. This is very bad. Unless, okay, the game gave me two rock pigment here, just for these eggs. Please give me another spicy. Okay, no more spices, okay. That next is useless then, because everybody is already uh, flowered because of the spicy spray. So that's the one good thing about it. Go, 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 go. What is that rock doing? Pile of nuggets is done and that means that that is the last thing. Boom. Okay. That was a rough one. I could have done a lot better on that one. So not too happy about it, but it works out. We are starting to run out of time, so I do want to get moving a little. Starting with getting this out of the damn mud, which the purple Pikmin decided to drag it into for some reason. Oh, you take 10 to carry now, okay. That used to be 8, I think? I'm not sure. So that is the golden bar. Uh, Puff still has a treasure, which I'm not surprised by. Holy. Oh, and there you go. They all fell in the ice and froze him. Okay. Well, that's one way to do it. Who wants more Dandori? Not you. Okay, let's do Oasis of Order. This is reminding me of that one Sage Trial, which was the death of me. The most painful thing I think I've ever been through. <sighs> I hope this isn't similar. It is... Fire level five. Whoa, you look kind of cool. You have black eyes? Are you special? Are you like the last castaway or something? He actually might be, to be fair. Come on. Stop! The auto lock on needs to be removed. Okay, I've, I've actually had enough of it. I, I, was, I was very. I was very cool about it. I was like, okay, all lock on. I think it's a pretty good addition. But yeah, it's I've had enough. Every time I'm trying to be fast, it it just it just screws me over. Every time. Right, Ochi, what's all those dudes? Uh -huh. No. 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 Grab that potato. Please. Yes, thank you. Oh, 
Oh shit. We've got Moldy Slooch up in here. Oh, two as well. Oh no. Okay, are we good? Yeah, we're good. Alright, good. Oh, there's winged right there. See, look, I'm. I don't even know the locations of the Pikmin, which is already a, an issue as it is. Come on. Come on, man. On top of that, the Pikmin literally turn turn on their be as, you know, annoying to, like, use as possible mode. And it just makes everything ten times harder. Where's the Pikmin 1 Pikmin at? Those dudes could do a better job at this point. Which is saying something. I'm sure you guys know. Alright. Don't get angry, okay? That's all I've got to do. Do you think I can just, like, knock this down? No. No way. That would be so cool if I could, though. So, once again, they've hid stuff up there which can't be obtained by Ochi, which is evil. I'll be honest. Alright, good. Alright, good. We're done. Go, climb up. So... Bubble. Come on, come on, come on. Put that down. Okay, that will head straight to base. If the purple didn't decide to do a lap around it first. Okay, go. And that should be everything, right? No? No. Okay. I was about to have a breath of relief. Turns out there's more. <laughs> okay, that is it, though. It's just these uh, shards. And we are good to go. Sadly, it's leafed purples, which I shouldn't have put on the nuggets at all, but the game was just insisting that I did, so I was like, okay, I'll just let you do the thing. That was scary. That sucked. We got bronze, though, so that, or platinum. That's all that matters. Okay, here's the golden bar. So I think we're going to need an another day here, although that might be all the caves in the game, by the way. Just casually. Yeah, okay, I think I think we've done all the caves. Okay, I, I think the cave content of this game uh, has been covered. And they have been phenomenal. They have been so fun. So, to have them be over is, is kind of crazy. It's kind of sad. But it was definitely worth it. This game has been so much fun. And we're not done yet, by the way. I keep acting like we're done. We're not. We've still got... At least another day here. Then a bunch of night mode to do. So, yeah. Well, where's the three that are stray, then? Where are they? Oh, they're right here. What? How did that happen? Oh, she sort them out. Alright, goodbye, castaway. <laughs> we're just... What? We'll be back. We'll be back in the morning, okay? Oh, my God! The controls of this game, man. I'm sorry. Baldy? Lie in wait for them with your minds? Not a bad idea, Terrence. That's a good idea, actually. Check this out. Okay, we have a Baldy long legs coming at us, by the way. Just thought I'd uh, remind you guys. Didn't expect that to happen. Hi. Wow, hi. Is that... So, is that your eye? Is that what your eye is? Blow up, blow up, blow up. Boom! I forgot Desiccate Skit Leafs were in the game. Do you guys want to take this guy out? Yeah, go on, get climbing up his legs. I feel like he's going to do a lot of damage to the Luminar if he hits it, so... Literally, with every step, he's killing someone. 
Also, that's probably it, actually. They really thought Baldi was enough of a threat to, like, make the entire night mode around him. Sorry, but that is not the truth, my friend. Bob. Thank you for your generous donation. Is that it? Yay! We did it. Okay, that was a fun one. I didn't expect... I mean, I kind of did expect Baldi at some point. I didn't expect him there, though. Because... In the Piclopedia, I've been checking that out a lot. Uh, it kind of spoiled me, actually. The Piclopedia itself spoiled me. But creatures that appear in night mode, you can toggle a night mode on on them, which is cool. And Baldi was one of them. And I was very surprised by that. I was like, wait, what? Okay, so now we can see how many treasures are left. We've got that castaway to get and five treasures. And then I think we're done. We just got to cure him in night mode. And, wow, we're reaching the end, my friends. And what's crazy is that how long this has took still, like, hello, Puffstool. So, okay, screw it. <laughs> Have fun, guys. <laughs> Have fun, guys. Get it, because he's a fun guy. Oh, okay. Stop being funny. Oh my god. Oh, she just like did a jump. No, you're going after the wrong thing. Maybe you go after the massive frog dude who's a pain in my ass and has killed many of my dudes in the past. That rhymes. Wait, does it? No. All right, so yeah, these ropes are really hard to see. I always forget about them. And I, f I didn't even know there was one there. I don't, re I don't remember that one at all. And then this has been hanging here for a long damn time. So we're finally going to grab that. And then our final treasure will be... Oh, no, it won't. <laughs> the final treasure will not be that. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, no. Not again. Okay, not all, not all of them got taken over. This is good. All right, Oshi. Do your job. These guys are just coming back. All right, the Toys of Giant set is now complete. Maybe they'll take out Puffstool. They're getting there. Oh, I should have left the cast away. I guarantee I'm not going to have like the right amount now. Uh, oh, wait, no, I don't even need to freeze this. Okay, we got that dude back. Yay. What, is this going to be... The one dude that works. Watch it. No. <laughs> okay, so not a single castaway worked. Oh, this only takes 12. Okay. And did we kill the bog swallow here? I didn't think we did. Okay. So we got a dog bowl. Pretty cool, right? I guess. There's the final cave as well, which is really cool. Oh, she's still going. Oh, they did it. Yes, congrats, guys. And he dropped a tremendous sniffer. And then it's time, my friends. It is time. It is time for what is arguably the most iconic uh, thing that goes down in Pikmin 2. And is now in Pikmin 4, which I love. Well, here it is. A giant golden bar. Fine gold, one kilo. So we're going to spicy spray. Make him go on it. And one dude decided to not. Oh, wow. Be gentle with it, my friends. It's worth a lot. And here they come. With their beautiful golden bar. Fully surrounding it. 100 purple Pikmin. Oh, they ran out. And again. I can't believe... It's coming to an end. Oh jeez, don't look at me like that. That's scary. Okay guys, here it comes. Boom. The golden bar has been collected. And that completes the Dazzle series. Explored 100% of the area. Primordial Thicket has been completed. This area has been Amazing. All the areas have been amazing. There's our final leafling. 
Rescue complete. 50 leaflings. Or 50 rescues. All castaways rescued. All we've got to do is cure them. Cure those who have been turned into leaflings. We're counting on you, Ochi and Wigwam. So, night mode is our only priority now, I guess. So, is it going... We got three dudes to cure. Yeah, two. So, one of them's going to be a double. One of them's going to be a single. Okay, so... Autumnal Gully is our final night mode. We'll do this one first, though. The Sylvian Gate, or whatever that said. Except, like, it's night mode. So, it's kind of weird, because some treasures, which would usually be... Or enemies, which would usually be a centerpiece of the intro, are just not there. So, it's kind of it's kind of weird. So, I hope the last one's the double. And it looks like it might be, so... Yep, okay, so... Protect that Lumen also. We'll put Ochi on it, like usual. Looks as if this is the only one, which I'm super cool with. Because then that means our last one is going to go all out and it's going to be a, um, a double too. So we got ball bears around by the looks of it. What is this guy doing? Oh, go away. Actually, go away. What are you doing here? Oh, no. That's never not scary. Oh, no. Oh, hi. Great. You look terrifying. I love you. Oh, there's another one. Hi. It's so good to see you. Can you break the eggs to stop them from spawning like Pikmin 1? That would be really cool. Also, I'm not going to activate that trick now for obvious reasons. Because this man is around. Come on, we left one. Come on, you've got to grab it. Ochi, defend. Wait, is he still going to break it? Come on, don't be a dick. We're not even using it. Okay. Oh, there's two! There's, is there three? Don't tell me there's three. Okay, there's two. Alright, well, we best chill with what we've got. Because we ain't going to be getting many more. So, smoky progs are now beings of the night. Which is terrifying. And I hate it. What's good? Bop. Taste the wrath of the glow mob. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. All right, all right. Come on, what's your problem? Hey? Get rid of this man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Bop, 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 boom. Are we done? That actually might be it. Think you have enough glow pigment? Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> oh god, it's not over though. Ochi. Quick, 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 quick. Defend the point. Oh no. No, 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 no. Leave it alone. Get him out. Yes. Oh, we have 100 glow pigment. This is our first. Alright, and then leave the last dude. 100 glow pigment. You ready? Glow mob this single dude. Oh, Ochi, you ruined it. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. That was, that was fun. That was really fun. Okay, administer the cure. It is Grace from Sozor, a determined nomad. She's just an ordinary gal who follows her bliss as she floats around space, though the space police have their suspicions. That's weird. We're about to hit the final night mode expedition. And it's a double. Oh, it's a it's a tough double. How are we going to even get around to that? All right, Molly Slooch is incoming.
Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Never mind. Hi. Again. It's good to see you, Smoky Frog. I love what you did with your voice, you know. The whole uh, harrowing evil scream and stuff. It's really cute. Wait, Grandma, I don't know how you're going to defend with just yourself, by the way. Oh, Emperor Bolblax. Okay, okay. Ochi. No, 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 no. Ochi, you defend. You? No. Ochi, defend the blue one, please. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it massively. Thank you very much. Get that lineup trumpet going. Uh -huh. It sounds like that egg is cracking up there. That's what I assume it is. Oh, it's Baldy! Hi! The whole gang's here. Great. Bob Lax, leave it alone. Zayam, he got that tongue. Goodbye. Oh, shit. Shit. Ochi, go defend the orange one this time. We're going to need it. This thing's still recharging. Okay, be careful. Oh, there's another smoky frog. I hear is. Um, howl echoing through the forest. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I bet you have a great singing voice. Did I not clear this out, like, in daytime, maybe, or something? I don't know. Blue one. Defend the blue one! <laughs> Defend the blue one! Oh, it does so much damage like I expected. Stop stomping on my shit, okay? Do you understand? Have some respect, Baldy. Oh, okay. That's great. That's great, that is. Great, he's going to stamp like 20 in one stomp constantly, because that's how BD works. Okay, he's absolutely shredding my numbers. On top of that, there's an Emperor Bolblax right behind him. Okay, Luminol's going to go down. We lost. Great, this is going to be so fun! Okay, this time, I'm going to have the Glow Pikmin deal with BD, hopefully, earlier. Problem being... Okay, here's an idea. Glow Pikmin. Get down here. Okay, I can't glow mob them on OG. I forgot. Great. I'm going to have to just throw them at him. Which still should do the job because they're that powerful. Same with you, Smoky Prog. He's going to scream. Yep. They're going to run straight into his death beam. Yep. 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 Okay, they're all, they're all gonna die. They're all gonna die. We've lost all of them! Hey everyone, this game is really getting on my nerves. We just lost all of our Glow Pikmin in an instant. BD is literally straight up just on his way to the second Luminol. We are and we're gonna have to fucking restart again. So we want to deal with Prog as soon as possible, basically. Because he is going to be an absolute pain in my rectum. Please lock onto the right thing. On top of that, we've got BD to worry about. Ochi can't defend against most of these creatures because they're bosses. So I think it might be best if we just stick with him and stay with Ochi. And we really need to hardcore farm uh, these dudes this early on. So, there we go. We have a lot of dudes. We need our captain with us because we can't glow mob or charge when we're playing as Ochi. Which is a real issue. So, you're up first, Bolblax. Goodbye. Good. You're up next, Smoky Prog, you bastard. And actually, what we can do is grab these back real quick while the glow mob recharges. We can hit him with our spicy spray and boom. And you should just be dead, right? Yes, thank God. You deserve that. 
So now the smaller creature is coming in. So what I want to do is make Ochi defend the blue one. While we head to the second one. While Baldi comes over and tramples the shit out of it and instant kills it. Okay, yeah, this one's under attack. Very fast, Lee. Okay. Okay, okay. So, Baldi, I didn't realize how much of a problem you were actually going to be. So, there we go. All we need to do is get him right onto him. Yeah, we need to be able to glow mob. Glow mobs is beyond important for us. We have a, another prog coming with a bulb black. So we have two bulb blacks coming. If this one's coming for this one. Those two are coming for that one. So what we'll do is we'll take this one out so we don't have to worry about the orange luminol. Hit him with that glow mob. Bop, you're dead. That should be a bunch of bits too. There we go. Star bits. Then we can sneak up behind the prog. Never sneak up behind a prog. It's not a good idea. But, you know, you get what I'm saying. I, it's going to be kind of hard to get around him, actually. Just be careful, my friends, okay? So we want as many as we can get. Ochi's dealing with these dudes. Perfect. I think we've worked it out, my friends. And because this is our kind of our final mission... Let's do this. Let's prepare. Come at me. Because I'm ready. For anything. Yeah, eat all them. But eat all them, Emperor. Yum, yum. Boom. You got what you deserve. Would you like some ice bombs, Smoky Prog? I don't even know if you can be frozen. You can. Okay, can I actually freeze you? No, because I'm out. Shit. Okay. Well, this works. Say goodbye, my friend. You have caused me a lot of trouble. And now you're dead. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day. Have fun in hell, my friends. Boom! Two glow sap. And those two glow sap will be used to cu cure our last two dudes. Our last two castaways. And then... We can head home. And we can finally cure our last dudes. All castaways rescued. You did it. All castaways have been rescued. Wait. Slow down. Slow down. We still got to cure them, okay? We still got to cure them. There they are. Okay, they're not anyone I recognize. It's Fox. Venture Capitalist. That's a mobile game, isn't it? And television actor... Yorks. Amazing, the radar isn't picking up the presence of any more leaflings. Could that mean we've cured every last leafling on the planet? Hehe, <laughs> no. Sage. Okay, so I'm interested if and if as I'm interested in oh, I'm interested in if there is a second credits. Great work great work everyone. Tales of our success have been passed down for generations will be will be passed down for generations. Cure all leaflings complete. So we're done. I, th I think we're ready to blast off. It's official. You are a full-fledged member of the crew. Who I'm so glad I asked for your help. All aboard the SS Shepherd. We're taking off right away. Our flight path is clear and all safety mechanisms are in good working order. All officers are prepared for takeoff. Primary engine ready. Okay, I'm actually turn the game up a little. All right, ready for launch. What a success. We rescued all the castaways and cured every last leafling. We can go home without any regrets. You should all be proud of yourselves, Anna, and the excellent work you've done here. Next stop, home. S.S. Shepherd, launch. Copy that. Here we go. I'm guessing it's just the same as before. I hope we meet again, dear Pikmin. Goodbye, my friends. There's the onions. Oh, we didn't get the white onion this time. There's Captain Olimar. Ah, the Pikmin are different.
Goodbye. I love you, Pikmin. I will be back, trust me. Moss is the new leader. And maybe the ancient Sirehound is involved for some reason. There he is. Goodbye. And off we go. So and and let's, so at long last, thanks to the brave efforts of the rescue corps, I finally made my way home. We did it. Until my next adventure. Oh. Wow. I'm not crying. Uh. That. was amazing. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh my god. What? Well, in the first time we got the credits, or well, the first time we left the planet or whatever. I already did my kind of, you know, whole... Uh, I love you guys, this game's amazing and stuff. But... <sighs> you know I've got to do it again. I don't know how to... I don't know how else to put it. It's, it's Pikmin 4. We've all waded up to this moment and it's finally here. It's been amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this game, because I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough, and if you watched all the way to the end of all the episodes, or just this one, or any, thank you so much. Thank you for watching my content. I love you guys. Uh, Pikmin 4 is the best game possibly ever at the moment. I'm not sure. Uh, going through this game has been an absolute treat, and I can't believe this game actually happened. Thank you so much to my supporters especially. I'm going to shout your guys' names out right now. Sorry I haven't been doing it in the previous episodes. I have made sure I put your usernames at the end of every video though. And all, all of my big, big projects, I'll make sure your guys' names are at the front of the video so everybody can hear. So thank you so much to Gunner the Hun, Tentacles, Zeromatic, Pie Lover, Mizzy Keen, Dank Mean Boy, Purge Fly Fox, Jojo Rune Chris, Ninja Gamer, Fernando Urista, Oddo and Sage of Kindness. You guys are the absolute best and you make my dreams come true. And if you want to become a member and support me further on the channel, then click that blue join button and, you know, see all the perks you guys can get if you want to. And if you do, I heavily appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone who's simply just subscribed to the channel, liked the, videoed, liked the videos, viewed the videos. You guys mean the world to me. And it's amazing to be able to be a Pikmin YouTuber. And I thank you all so much for that. I'm not going to drag things on. I'm going to just go. I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said. I love you all, and I hope you all enjoyed your time with Pikmin 4, because it has been a very special time for our entire community, and just seeing the happiness in everyone has been great. And moving forward, we're going to be making a lot of Pikmin 4 videos. They won't be playthrough videos, but they will talk about the game a lot, and speak about elements of it, and speak about theories, and different 
things like when's Pikmin 5 coming and stuff like that. So if you want to see any of that, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and maybe turn notifications on. Who knows? But that's up to you guys. I thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.